Hello, I am Tiffany Dockery Gibson, Director of the Historically Underutilized Business and Small Business Program Office at the University of Texas at Austin. The Hub SB program is excited to participate in the Bear County Small Minority Women and Veteran Owned Business Conference 2020, and we thank you for taking the time to inquire on how to do business with UT Austin. Founded in 1883, UT Austin ranks among the 40 best universities in the world. With its mission to achieve excellence in the interrelated areas of undergraduate education, graduate education, research, and public service, the university supports approximately 51,000 diverse students, 3,400 faculty, and 24,000 staff. With top national programs across 18 colleges and schools, the university contributes approximately 7.4 billion to the Texas economy through research, creative activity, scholarly inquiry, commercialization, and the consumption of goods and services across the state. The UT Austin Hub Small Business Office is a function of the Procurement and Payment Services Division of the university. We, along with our partners in central purchasing, business contracts, and payment services, share a mission to strategically address sourcing, contracting, and payment needs while safeguarding for the highest level of qualified and diverse supplier performance. That is where you come in. The Hub SB Program Office seeks to be your business's connection to the common goals of promoting job growth, capital investment, and economic development through contracting opportunities. A few key tips to doing business with the university include getting certified. As a state of Texas institution, we utilize the Texas Comptroller of Public Accounts, Centralized Master's Bidders List, or CMBL, and the hub directory as our main source list for solicitation opportunities. We can't stress enough the importance of obtaining and maintaining your state of Texas registration on the CMBL and or the hub directory. Secondly, do your homework. There are a myriad of opportunities to contract with the university from providing goods and services in support of administrative and education functions to providing maintenance, planning, and construction services in support of the 431 acres occupied by our main campus in Austin. We also have numerous remote campus facilities around the state. We encourage you to assess not only how your firm might provide better pricing and improved service, but also how your business might offer advantage through quality improvement and access to new resources as a valued business partner. Thirdly, introduce your business. Again, the Hub SB program serves as a point of contact to introduce your company to the university as a potential supplier. We maintain relationships with both internal staff, advocacy groups, and other suppliers. You can connect with us to schedule one-on-one -on -one introductions and or participate in specialized internal forums to be introduced to key decision makers. Fourth, state your interests. When contacting the Hub program office, Make sure you have a capability statement highlighting your product and service offerings, as well as your contact information. This often is the first impression of your business and shared with personnel that might be interested in your services. Lastly, we encourage you to monitor our current bid listings. We recently launched a refreshed website, hubsb.utexas.edu. In addition to finding detailed contact information on our website, I am particularly excited about our vendor portal. The vendor portal is a place where you can have uh, centralized contracting opportunity information, as well as provide resources regarding supplier training and outreach opportunities. We also highlight internal partnerships that seek to advance contracting opportunities for your business. Now that you're prepared with those key tips, we have listed a few upcoming commodity and service opportunities. Earlier, we mentioned the vendor portal on our website, hubsb.utexas.edu. We encourage you to check there often for updates. As these solicitations are posted, our website will provide links to university web pages where you can obtain more detailed information and or proposal documents. The next couple of slides illustrate construction projects that are both currently being solicited and that are calendared for near term. One point of note that most of our construction projects host 
pre-bid meetings approximately a week after being publicly posted. The pre-bid meeting is an excellent opportunity to hear detailed information regarding the project, as well as network with other interested providers to identify both prime contracting and subcontracting opportunities. Again, we have a number of construction projects that are coming up. Earlier, I spoke about the pre-bid meetings. In response to the pandemic, many of our pre-bid meetings are held remotely. If project walkthroughs are scheduled, they are held at a predetermined time and are limited in capacity. Another reason to check our website regularly to ensure you make time for that. Here's yet another page of construction opportunities. This final page of construction opportunities lists projects with our capital planning and construction office. This office works closely with campus clients as well as outside designers, consultants, and contractors to manage capital projects valued at more than $10 million. Projects that are architecturally or historically significant are also identified as major projects regardless of the cost. You will see the last project listed, Austin State Hospital. The ASH project is, is a collaborative project between the university's Dell Medical School and the State of Texas Health and Human Services Commission. <clears throat> this project is actually a construction manager at risk relationship. Again, the hub office maintains relationships with both our internal construction groups, as well as a number of professional service providers, general contractors, and minority trade organizations outside of the university. We encourage you to reach out to our office if you're interested in opportunities so that we might connect you with those outside organizations as well. Again, we encourage you to use our office as a resource to connect with the community. Through the course of the conference, please reach out to one of our Hub SB program representatives for more information about the opportunities shared. Follow up by visiting our website and don't forget to check the vendor portal where you can find links to contracting opportunities across campus. Thank you.